Good evening. My name is Swamp. Tonight we'll be continuing our deep dive into the most popular president in American history, President Joe Biden. Recently, it has become hard with nefarious actors trying to suppress some of Biden's greatest moments. First, we will show you this clip, a clip where Biden misspoke and later clarified. A million Uyghurs, as you pointed out, Muslims, are in concentration camps. That's what they are right now. They're being abused. They're in concentration camps. And what we started in our administration, the Trump stopped, we should be moving 60 percent of our sea power to that area of the world to let, in fact, the Chinese understand that they're not going to go any further. We are going to be there to protect other folks. Now, it is very easy to see how rather mean people in our nation would use this out of context against the greatest man who's ever walked the earth. Luckily, he did clarify and update his position later on. But of course, the conspiracy networks will not show you this clip. You know, Chinese leaders, if you know anything about Chinese history, it has always been the time when China has been victimized by the outer world is when they haven't been unified at home. So the central, oh, to vastly overstated, the central principle of Xi Jinping is that there must be a united, tightly controlled China. And he uses his rationale for the things he does based on that. I point out to him, no American president can be sustained as a president if he doesn't reflect the values of the United States. And so the idea, I'm not going to speak out against what he's doing in Hong Kong, what he's doing with the Uyghurs in western mountains of, of uh, China and Taiwan trying to end the one China policy by making it forceful. I, I said, and by the way, he said he, he gets it. Culturally, there are different norms at each country, and they, their leaders are expected to follow. Checkmate, conspiracy theorists. I, for one, am glad that we have a president who respects cultural differences and cultural norms. No more of this aggressive behavior to people committing atrocities. Remember, they're only atrocities in our view. That's it for tonight. God bless.